In this video, we're going to be going over the build that I'm going to be shooting for as soon as the expansion drops in New World. This build is, of course, going to be utilizing the Butcher Sword, which is a new artifact being introduced with the expansion, and it's going to center around applying pressure to your opponents with bleeds. Now, full disclaimer here, this build is completely theory crafted. I did play a little bit with this on the PTR, and in my mind, this build should work out pretty well. Also, just bear in mind that I'm trying to build out this build to be kind of a universal build, maybe a stepping stone into getting some more specific gear here in the future. But I think with the removal of Ward and Bane and some other things that are happening with the game that we can now put together some more universal builds that will be pretty viable across some of the forms of content. Now, you probably won't be able to get into M3s after a little while because this build does utilize medium armor. And there's also some variations that you'd want to utilize in PvP if you're shooting for absolute bis. So for this build, I am not taking any PvP specific perks. We are strictly just trying to look at perks that we can use that's going to be beneficial for both PvP and PvE. The purpose behind this is to just get a build to get us started for the expansion. And then, of course, obviously, we'll be pushing into a lot more specific builds very soon after. But I know a lot of you guys don't have a ton of time to play the game. And a universal build might help out some of you guys. So this is the one that I have theory crafted. I think it's going to be pretty good. And more importantly, I think this build is just going to be a whole lot of fun. So let's jump in here and take a look. So for this build, as we mentioned, we're going to be utilizing the Butcher Sword. This is an artifact sword that's being introduced with the expansion. On this sword, we have Bloodletting, Jagged Whirls, Empowering Whirling Blade, and Keenly Jagged. Bloodletting is just going to extend the duration of our bleeds, which is going to be very important to the overall build. We're going to build around that, and we're going to be building around Jagged Whirls, which is an additional bleed that you get that wasn't something we were able to get in the game before. We also have Empowering Whirling Blade on the sword, as well as Keenly Jagged. The final perk that I think I'm going to put on the sword is probably going to be Attunement, but that's still a little bit up in the air for me, but I am leaning towards Attunement. So with the sword alone, we're going to be able to apply two bleeds, Jagged Whirls and Keenly Jagged. We're going to be using the spear as the offhand, and we'll get to that here in just a moment. But along with the sword, we are, of course, going to be pairing a shield. The shield we're going to be using is a round shield. And we are going to be using Shield Aggression. Shield Aggression is a new perk added with the expansion. You no longer get attributes on your shields, but you do get new perks for your shields, depending on what shield type they are. So we're going to be going with Shield Aggression, which is going to give us additional base damage. And then we're going to be going with Keenly Empowered, Enchanted, and Diminishing Shield Bash on the shield. And then for the Spear, we're going to be going Enfeebling Skewer, Keenly Jagged, and Enchanted or Attunement. I haven't quite made up my mind there yet, but we're going to be going one of the two, I think. And then for the Helmet, Chest, Gloves, Legs, we're going to be going Health on all of those. And I chose to do Enchanted Ward for my build. There's a few different reasons behind this. Number one, Shirking Fortification for the average player. I just don't think procs quite enough. And number two, we're not going to be taking Shirking Heals or any of the other PvP perks, as we mentioned before. We're trying to keep this more of a general build that's going to be utilized in a lot of situations. And I feel like the uptime for Enchanted Ward is going to serve that purpose for this build. We're also not going to be taking something like Grit Ward, which is one of the other new perks added, because I just don't think our Grit uptime is going to quite be there. So for me, I think Enchanted Ward is going to work out quite well for this particular build. And then for the final perk, we're going to take quite a few weapon perks. We're going to be taking Empowering Leaping Strike on one of the pieces of armor, Leeching Cyclone, Bleeding Sweep, and then we're going to be taking Refreshing. And then for our shoes or our boots, we're going to be taking the Tumbler Shoes. These are light shoes and they're an artifact item that was introduced with the expansion as well. So this is artifact item number two. We'll have artifact item number three with our earring here in just a moment, but we're going to be taking the Tumbler Shoes. These come with Shirking Blessing, Refreshing, Physical Aversion, and then we're going to be taking Health on these as the final perk. And you can acquire the Tumblr Shoes via the free version of the Season Pass whenever the expansion launches. And then for our Jewelry, for our Amulet, we're going to be using Health, Alchemist Reprieve, and Refreshing Recovery. So Alchemist Reprieve and Refreshing Recovery are both new perks being added in with this season. Alchemist Reprieve is going to improve the healing from potions by 10%. And then for Refreshing Recovery, when your health drops below 50%, all your active ability cooldowns are reset and that has a 90 second cooldown and then for the ring we're going to be going thrust damage hardy keen awareness we're going with keen awareness here because i just wanted a little bit more crit chance built in so we could proc our keenly jagged a little bit more often and again this build is centered highly around dots and highly around bleeds so we want to be proccing that stuff as much as possible and then for the earring we are going to be going with another artifact item called endless thirst this comes with a few different perks on there the thirst empowering toast and fortifying toast those two are in the same same perk pool so you can't craft those on the same item together but with the artifact you can get both of these on there 
Empowering Toast is going to give you a 10% in power whenever you drink a potion. And then the Fortifying Toast is going to give you a 20% Fortify for short duration whenever you drink a potion as well. And then for the final perk on our earring, we're going to be going with Refreshing Toast. Refreshing Toast is just going to kind of offset the negative effects of the Thirst. So the Thirst is going to make our health potions 33% stronger, but the cooldown is going to be 20% longer. So by adding Refreshing Toast onto this piece of artifact jewelry, you're going to reduce the cooldown by 10%. So it's only going to give you a 10% negative effect or a 10% increased cooldown duration. And then for the Heart Rune, we're going to be going Stone Form. I'm going to be using the Brutal version of that Heart Rune. And we're utilizing this just for the CC break, the CC immunity that it provides because we don't have any freedom in this particular build. We're taking Enchanted Ward and Health with some weapon perks and we're not throwing freedom on here so i'm gonna go brutal stone form in pvp and then for pve i'm sure that would switch up just a little bit and then for equip load we are going to be running this in the medium equip load so we're going to take a round shield we're going to go with a light helmet medium chest heavy gloves heavy legs and then of course the light boots with the tumbler shoes and then as far as attributes go, this is going to be a split stat build between strength and dex, and then we'll throw some into constitution. But I do think we're also going to work in the 50 int passive somehow in this build because you do get a 5% additional damage from targets afflicted with a dot whenever you put 50 points into intelligence. And I think that could be really good with this build because obviously your target is going to be afflicted with a dot 100% of the time, or at least that is the hope. That's what you're shooting for. That's what this build is for, is just to apply continuous pressure with damage over time in the form of bleeds. And as far as abilities go, we're going to take a look at the sword tree first. We are going to be running Whirling Blades because we are running the Butcher and we have Jagged Whirls and Empowering Whirling Blade on that weapon. So Whirling Blade is going to be a staple of this build. We're going to spec all the way down and upgrade it fully. We're going to run Leaping Strike and we are going to run Shield Bash for the CC. And of course, we're going to take the Leadership Passive over in the Sword Master side of the tree and then for the spear tree we're going to be running cyclone sweep and skewer we're going to be running sweep and specking that all the way down to the bottom to coup de gras because we are going to be running bleeding sweep this is because we want to get as many bleeds as possible into this build to synergize well with the butcher we want to have these dots stacked up on our opponent as much as possible and then for skewer this obviously also comes with a bleed we're going to spec all the way down upgrade this fully down to deep wound which is going to give us bleed duration increase to 15 seconds on the skewer bleed then we're going to spec all the way down into the impeller tree and take exploited weakness for the additional damage we're going to get for each debuff placed on the target then we also have exposed wounds which synergizes very nice with this build as well so you're going to have critical chances increased by 15 percent when attacking a bleeding target that's the far right bottom impeller tree passive and then cyclone was kind of a toss-up for me i thought about running perforate on this build but i think i'm going to stay away from perforate for the moment because perforate applies a rin so does our whirling blade although perforate rate gives us a much larger rand i don't think this would be a bad option so you could run perf rate instead of cyclone i just chose to go with cyclone for now and i'm going to try to run leeching cyclone for a little bit of heal and for the aoe damage the cyclone provides i kind of like this ability i've been running at the current patch and i've been really enjoying it or you could obviously go javelin as well if you wanted to for some additional cc so really your cyclone in my opinion would be pretty flexible you could go javelin or perforate instead of cyclone but i would say you definitely want to run sweep and skewer for the bleeds that you're going to get to synergize with this overall bleed build that we're trying to accomplish but that's it that's the build that's what i'm going to try to run for the expansion i would love to know what you guys are going to be running or what you're going to be shooting for right out of the gate which artifacts you're going to be going for which ones you think are going to be good which ones you think are going to be bad what's your play style what are you shooting for build wise i think putting together a dot build is going to be really fun historically a new world has been all about the burst damage and now we have i think what's going to be a pretty viable dot build and i think it's going to be a lot of fun to play around with and mess around with so that's what we're going to be shooting for i hope this works out i hope it's good i guess we're going to find out whenever the expansion drops very soon but that's going to do it for this and boys and girls thank you guys so much for watching i greatly appreciate it if you enjoy new world enjoy new world content please make sure to like and subscribe i'd appreciate that as well we will of course be streaming a lot of the expansion whenever it drops and our normal stream schedule though is every monday eight o'clock a.m cst every friday eight o'clock a.m cst over twitch.tv slash bdlg during the expansion we will be doing some night streams and some other fun things over there on the channel so i'd love to see you come hang out it'd be awesome that's gonna do it for this boys and girls thank you guys so much we'll see you in the next one